guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Welcome to this week's Yang reading for May the 31st until June the 8th. I am using um, Dorian Virtue's Romance Angel cards. I just picked those up and I'm absolutely in love with them. I'm getting a lot of great messages with them. Um, so I think what I'll do is a split uh, yin yang. So I'll pull the cards and then we'll go through the positions. Yeah, I can probably move these over a little bit more. my smaller deck here just in case I want to pull some clarifiers. This is the basic reading so I want to keep it as short as possible and I will be pulling um, three clarifiers per position and probably doing some reading in the extended version and the link will be below. Okay so let's look at the overall energy. Why is it sticky there? Oh there's some tape. Okay. Okay nice engagement so this is a, a promise of commitment your love life has ascended to higher levels of commitment so this is realizing who your soulmate is realizing who you love and you want to deepen that bond with a commitment so this is the energy that you're going to be in um, for the next week and it's a very cool synchronicity because if you watch the uh, June uh, monthly energy reading as well as the recent twin flame reading that I just put out um, that goes with this reading obviously it's you were really in a space of love for the month of June um, and so this card is definitely reflecting that energy all right so how do you feel about yourself masculine this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so um, the way that you feel about yourself is you're posing a question, right? Um, you want to make a move. You want to take action. Um, but you're just not too sure, right? Is, is this the person? Is this the one? You know, my true love. Um, so this card is, um, validates that they are your twin flame. So it's a nudge. Uh, from the universe to go ahead and, um, you know, take action, uh, express your feelings, um, have those honest communication, you know, conversations. And, uh, yeah, so you're in a space of love and you want to express that love and the universe is giving a nudge. Okay, so how do you feel about the uh, feminine pay attention to red flags, the signs are cautioning you. So this energy of questioning, um, feeling like you're being deceived, that's all coming from the feminine side in the readings. And so the way you're viewing the feminine is with this energy. It's like um, you feel that the feminine is guarded, that she's questioning your motives. Um, you know, she may not feel like she can trust you. Um, so yeah, obviously this block needs to be released and that's probably why you're kind of holding back on making that move forward. So how do you feel about the relationship? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So 
this talks about um, codependent relationships, you know, somebody who is um, dependent on either you financially or emotionally, you know, that this doesn't really talk about a loving relationship. This talks about a chain holding you back. But more importantly, this card talks about addictions. And this was in the near future position for the Twin Flame reading. Okay, so this is how you view the relationship that there are addictions and codependent relationships, possibly a karmic partner that is, is holding you back from fully embracing um, this connection. Okay, so you may, may be in a space where you feel a lot of emotions and you might want to numb those emotions, you know, with... Um, substances or, or, you know, behavior, unhealthy behavior. Um, so I'm going to actually pull one clarifier. So I'm just going to pull from the top of the deck since we already shuffled. Ace of Cups. So you want a new beginning. You want to make a, a commitment. You want to express your, your love, right? And that's what this card is saying. It's, you know, it's a new beginning of love. It is, it, it comes with conditions. It means that you have to let go of the past. You need to forgive yourself, forgive others, and be truly open to receive love in your life. And because it's not the main energy card, it's, it's um, a confirmation card. It's telling me that this potential, potential is there. Um, but these addictions are affecting your love life. And codependent relationships are addictions as well. So what do you fear to love? This is the romance of a lifetime. Wow. So you fear that this connection um, is your true love partner and you're not making a move or you fear making a move. You know, you've placed them on this pedestal. Um, to you, they represent everything you've ever desired. And so that could be a bit intimidating. Um, again, this is confirmation that it is your soulmate, your true love. Embrace it. Don't be afraid. So your, an your question keeps being answered over and over and over again. So what do you want? You want separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you want to break the link. Um, you want to free yourself from, you know, the addiction, the codependency, that negative energy. This could also be a low self-image as well. Um, maybe you feel too much time has passed um, and you've changed on the external. But, you know, true twin flame connections, the love doesn't change no matter how much you change on the outside. So... Yeah, never be afraid of that. And what will you get? Express your love. Oh, my God. Go ahead. Make the romantic gesture. Boom. Is it the one? Yes, it is. Now, pay attention to the red flags. Also talks about pay attention to somebody else's behavior. So watch how they treat, you know, um, some people who work at a restaurant or a valet or what have you. Okay, if they're rude, if they're um, abrupt, if they cut people down, then you, that shows their true colors, right? Um, now, this energy is looking at the relationship. Like, if you look at this card here, it looks like they're looking at the relationship and there is a connection between the two. So there is an observer energy, um, something standing in the way you needed the answer to your question you've got it three times um do whatever you need to do to detach yourself from you know this whatever that is and express your love go ahead make that gesture um express your emotions if you're afraid to express your emotions because if you look at this car this masculine energy is kind of ho holding back if you're afraid to express your, your emotions, that's a blockage. And the only way to get through it is to go deep. 
go deep, feel where the resistance is, you know, where is this anxiety, this tension coming from? And once you identify it, then you can work through it. Okay, so if you want romance in your life, you need to feel deep emotions. And also, you need to feel romantic, right? You're the one that benefits from a romantic relationship um, because you're the one feeling it, right? And so it's an it's um, also an addictive energy because if you are exuding this positive energy, then people are going to pick up on it. And, you know, um, through the law of attraction, you, you attract that romantic partner into your life. So it goes both ways, right? You need to give love in order to get love. So go ahead and make that, take that step. Very clear message very similar message to what I was getting in the uh, Twin Flame reading and the monthly reading for June, so you might want to check those out. I'll try to link them up below. So let's pull one card from, let's see here, let's do, call it Baron Reed, Wisdom of the Oracle. So just one final message, please. What important message do you have for the masculine? chop wood. So what I'm feeling with this is that separation. Cut the things that are out of, you know, cut things out of your life that is holding you back, tying you down. Um, clean house. So let me read that to you. Okay, so... Being grounded in, er in everyday experience, humility. Nothing as important right now as just doing what you need to do day to day. Let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won, passionate, or even obviously meaningful. Relationships and friendships go through lulls when everyday tasks are at the center of awareness. This is a perfect time now. Hold hands, wash dishes, make a fire. Read a book, share a meal, say nothing, stare into space, pick up socks, tell a dumb joke, and leave space to breathe. The work of your relationship right now is very simple, just to be present. Funny how it takes work just to be all is well, really. Okay, so this wasn't about cutting. It, even though it says chop wood, um, I think that's just, you know, engaging in the action of chopping wood. Just the simple pleasures in life. So the mask, or sorry, the universe is telling the masculine that, um, you know, don't stress. Um, everything doesn't have to be hard won, right? So just chillax a little bit. Um, you know, maybe ask the feminine out on a date, go for a walk. You know, you don't have to win her over, that kind of thing, right? Just, just be, just um, be in each other's energy appreciate each other all right so i hope this helps and i'm sending massive love your way all right cheers back masculine okay so this is going to be the extended version of the reading um so i'm going to go ahead and read engagement to you wow i opened it right to the page so this card says congratulations this card signals pending nuptial nuptials Beginning with romantic engagement. If you're not presently in a relationship, uh, the romance angels can see one upon your horizon. This card comes to as a reassurance, specifically so that you'll choose to release any worries about whether you're going to get married, because you will. Deep romantic love in which you feel treasured is in the cards for you. The deeper meaning of this card relates to commitment. First, you must uh, commit to taking care of yourself. You establish boundaries, what you will and won't accept in your relationship and in other areas of your life, such as a career, home, lifestyle, and so on. Next, you honor your self-commitment by taking decisive action and telling others how you truly feel. As you commit to yourself, the universe sends you additional experiences of loving commitment, including the promise of marriage. Okay, so... Um, Yeah, set aside that worry, that fear, you know, that this thing isn't going to happen. And I think that was the message that you're kind of getting with that chop wood. Um, 
express your love, be open to sharing your emotions and your feelings, your deepest desires, your dreams. Um, yeah, so again, it's like a nudge from the universe. Go ahead. So the pay attention to red flags. I'm not going to read the card, but I am just going to give you the highlights of it. So P. So it says something is off, unhealthy relationship. So you need an honest dialogue. Um, this card usually happens in new relationships, right? So you get swept up by this emotional roller coaster. And um, so you become emotionally blind. So the message is to be, um, be aware of somebody's behavior, how they treat other people. Um, your feelings and impressions of that person. And yeah, usually they treat you good at the beginning, but then, you know, things kind of taper off towards um, as you get deeper into the relationship. So you want a relationship to be consistent. If they're really nice to you one day, the next day they're creeps, then, you know, this isn't a true connection um, or that there's some deeper problems that need to be addressed. All right, so let's pull three clarifiers. So I'm just going to shuffle these cards real quick here. Um, so the pay attention to red flags, that was for the the feminine, how, how you feel about the feminine. Okay, so what do you mean by that? Eight of Cups, Third Eye Chakra, Ace of Swords. So the Eight of Cups, past position, this is somebody walking away from an emotional situation. They're leaving everything behind. Um, you know, these cups don't hold any value for him whatsoever. So this could be the feminine walking away from you emotionally or you walking away from her. Either way, other way it, you know, it is causing her to question you or vice versa. So the present position is the third eye chakra. So this is your intuition. Um, so listening to that internal voice, and that's what this card talks about, you know, trust your instincts, right? Um, pay attention to those red flags. So you aren't, you know, this could be your energy or the feminine. So, you know, you're really turning in, um, or she is, she's listening to her inner voice. Um, but guarded, withdraw from the situation. Now, the Ace of Swords in the future position, this is mental clarity, making a decision, cutting away barriers. So there is something that, a truth that is discovered that puts an end to this fear-based thought. Very triumphant card here. And it comes from an intuitive place. Okay, so... Even though there's an emotional disconnect, um, everything becomes resolved. You find that answer. You make that decision. You discover that truth. You ground that idea in reality. So it's a new start in the future. Get in there. Sorry. I'll just move it back then. All right. So how you feel about yourself. This could be the one. So you, a lot of questions you don't know. Let me read the highlights for you. Okay, so they are your soulmate. You've already met that person. Okay, so this isn't a new relationship. Um, but you're overlooking them. Let me go ahead and read that for you so you get a deeper sense. So it says, this card signals that you've already met the person you romantically seek and you want to make a commitment, but there are some things, you know, standing in the way. Um, perhaps you're already in a relationship with, with him or her. The ra romance angels send you this card because it seems you're not recognizing or enjoying the full potential of this person and relationship. Sometimes you may overlook who's meant for you because you have a different idea about your partner, how they should look and act. 
Um, so take a moment to c consider who it is. The first person that comes to mind is the one. And it goes on to say, you know, pay attention to your dreams, your subconscious mind, um, third eye chakra, and take action. Okay, so it's how you feel about yourself. So you're really questioning things. Um, maybe you're just not fully believing in it. Okay, so let me just pull a clarifier to see what else is going on. So the Six of Wands, wow, the Yang. Aw, the Six of Cups. So we got two Sixes here. So the Six of Wands, past position. This is excitement, passion, um, your vibe tribe cheering you on. So it's an accelerated energy. You feel like you're on the right path spiritually. Okay, so all of this energy of love and wanting to make a commitment is coming from a very beautiful place and a very stable, grounded place. Present position, yang, you are yang. Um, you feel authentic. You feel grounded. You feel that, you know, there's this truth. Um, you understand who you are, right? Um, there's, yeah, just beautiful, strong, masculine energy. Um, so when you're trying to make a decision about your twin flame, um, you know, you're looking for your yin. You already know who this person is because they make you feel like yang. Right? They bring out the truth of who you are. They help you to reflect. They are your mirror. They reflect back your um, reflection, right? So that you can see yourself. Okay, so the future position, we got the Six of Cups. And so this is the reunion card. Okay, so obviously um, you want to reunite with your twin flame um, and express your emotions. So this card is also about um, your imagination, wondering if things are just a fantasy, just an illusion. Um, whoops, sorry about that. So, yeah. Um, but it is also about, you know, having these loving, beautiful memories about somebody and wanting to... Um, you know, make that a reality again, right? So this is kind of talking about living in the past. So you want to be careful of that. You you can't put pressure on another person to make things exactly the way they were before, if that makes any sense to you. All right. So um, what you fear is true love. The Four of Swords. The Nine of Swords. Wow, do you ever fear it? And then the Three of Wands. Good. So, Four of Swords, past position. Um, I just want to show you in the book, it is confirmation once again that this is a um, true twin flame connection. Um, Curious. R-S-T. T-U. Okay. So you pulled this card because true and lasting love is here for you. If your question was about a specific person, then this card serves as validation of the relationship's divine nature. Okay, so this individual has genuine love for you. And you can both overcome issues if you're able to express your emotions. Okay, so... True love is all about cherishing that other person, not wanting to change them. Now, the four of swords past position, pointing to the fact that you've had your heart broken before and you don't want to go through that again. So this is a healing energy and it's a withdrawal, but it's, it's a very good energy. Um, the nine of swords in your present position, you fear um, moving forward, obviously, right? expressing your emotions the nine of swords stabbing thoughts fear anxiety worry guilt the nine means it's nearing the completion of that and then the three of wands in the future position thumbs up from the universe encouragement go for it you're on the right path okay so have no fear 
beautiful message from the universe. Thank you. Okay, so what do you want? Separation. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot to do the relationship. So let's go back to this. So I usually see this as a present position when I've already pulled a card. So let's do the past, the sun, and the future solar plexus. So we got two ones here. The sun reduces to a, a one. Uh, so we have an 11. Okay, so these are very beautiful cards. The sun is the most positive card in the deck. So it, it represents exhilaration, excitement, new beginnings, freedom, um, being unchained, being innocent like a child. Uh, so this beautiful energy of the sun um, and a, a new loving connection, you know, the sense of brand, brand newness, uh, new beginning, is kind of coming from the past into the present. Um, so, you know, as this type of energy progresses, I mean, um, you can't ask for two better cards than this. It just is true love. Now, the future position is a solar plexus uh, chakra. So this is power, courage, um, your will, your strength. The sun card is pure masculine energy. Again, same with the yang card, pure masculine energy. So that type of energy would have no problem um, expressing their power, their courage in order to overcome some difficulties or challenges. And so we see this chakra activated because you're going, you want that separation, you want to break free of the addiction, the codependency, the chain. And you're doing so um, because in a, of an 1111 connection because of love. So now what do you want is separation. The strength card. Wow. 11-11. Nice. The Queen of Wands. So all these, well, except for the 11-11 card, but these two cards are very, are, are fire. Okay, passion. Um, the Queen of Fire represents charisma. Um, the Law of Attraction, she draws men towards her or people towards her because she shines her light. She's very confident, um, not afraid to express herself. So you are... You look at her as a beacon of light. Okay, now the past position, we have the strength card. The strength card is um, an introverted energy. It's calming the beast within. It is creating a beautiful, loving environment. So this tells me that um, you have to, you're toning things down or you're going within or you're becoming humble about the connection. Now, separation with this 11-11 card staring you in the face. Either you need to release yourself from a codependent rela relationship or you are feeling the separation strongly and you want to close the gap. That's what the 11-11 card is saying. So this, again, confirmation that what you want is the twin flame connection and that is what you get is if you're able to express yourself. So the Queen of Fire, future position, is the one you desire to reunite with. We got that Ace of Swords, that beautiful decision um, of triumph and victory. The power um, is required to either approach her or, you know, make that move. So a lot of fire in the future. Fire, fire, fire. Um, and then, then we got the air and the swords, but there's a lot of passion, a lot of sexuality, a lot of desire, creativity as well. Um, cr being creative and expressing yourself was a very strong message on the feminine side. And so I'm not surprised to see the queen of fire there. She's very creative. So she's somebody who, um, wants to be somebody, wants to be noticed. So what will be is express your love. That's beautiful. Ten of fire. Wow. Lovers. Throat chakra. Oh my God. Beautiful cards. Ten of fire. Past position. 
burden, exhaustion, you collapse in exhaustion, you've taken, you feel like you've taken on so much, you've held back on so much, um, things started to crack and crumble around you and you, you know, it, this is completion ending of that cycle. So you collapse in exhaustion. Hopefully you are not worried about things quite as much. Um, you know, put that burden down is what this card is saying. Put the past behind you. Have no fear. The lover's card, present position. This is what you will get. Lovers, right? Twin flame connection, passion. Um, so this is recognizing your twin flame, your soulmate. Okay. So express yourself. Don't be afraid. Um, the throat chakra, future position. You know, it goes along with this card. Express your love. These two cards are exactly the same as what this card's saying. Okay, so I don't think I read that card, did I? I can't remember. I feel that maybe Spirit wants me to read it. Wow, and I opened it right to the spot, so it's confirmation. Um, take the initiative in your love life. That may mean contacting someone to whom you're attracted and asking the person out on a date. I think that's three times I've said that in this reading. Sorry if you can hear my stomach growling. <laughs> I just got off work. Um, so it could mean sending flowers, sending a text, gifts to your beloved. As you express romance, these feelings pour through you. You actually become the biggest beneficiary of your romantic displays as you enjoy how they make you feel. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Um... To an even, sorry, uh, how they make you feel to an even greater degree. The more you give love, the more you experience it. Of course, you do, uh, of course, do make sure that you're also open to receiving the love that comes to you from God, the angels, and other people. Yes, so express your feelings. All right, so I'm going to pull one final card. What should we do? I'm digging the Zen, the Osho Zen, this week. So let's pull one card from here. All those great messages come through. Okay, that one then. Adventure, the Page of Pentacles. Be childlike, innocent. Step into the rainbow light. Now, the Page of Pentacles um, is very slow-moving energy. Um, it could mean communication as well. Why can't I find the page? I'm sorry. There we go. And it, it's a new adventure, a new start in 3D as well. Okay, so when we are truly in a spirit of adventure, we are moving just like a child full of trust out of the darkness of the forest into the rainbow of light. We go step by step, drawn by our sense of wonder into the unknown. Adventure really has nothing to do with the plans and maps and programs and organizations. The page of rainbows represents a quality that you can come that can come to us anywhere at home or in the office, in the wilderness, in the city in a creative project or in our relationship with others. Whenever we move into the new and into the unknown uh, with the trusting spirit of a child, innocent and open and vulnerable, even the smallest things of life can become the greatest adventures. Awesome. I want to continue reading. Zen say, says truth has nothing to do with the um, authority. Truth has nothing to do with tradition. Truth has nothing to do with the past. Truth is radical, personal realization. You have to come to it. So there's a truth you need to discover. Um, yeah, what I see here is a detachment, a freedom from, um, you know, that personality garment that you're wearing, that character that you're wearing um, is holding you down. Right, so return to that beautiful, happy, innocent, free state. 
maybe you're afraid that this connection will become codependent. You know what I mean? It looks to me like you're looking for excuses. Pay attention, red flags. Could this be the one? I don't know. I don't know. You know. Um, so, yeah. Only you'll know what that means. So please comment, guys. I want to know if you're resonating with this or not. I love you much, and we'll see you next week. Cheers.